routine to yoga chr the future is here and it's not lower not wider not bleaker and not faster and it wears ridiculous tail lights look past this robot donkey kong smiling and the 2018 to yoga chr is the vehicular embodiment of lazy conventional wisdom as the second decade of the 21st century dissolves away it's not bad but it's not trying either it's okayish by default now that trunks are swiftly being eradicated like small pots the chr is naturally a five door thing like a crossover except that all pretense of off-road ability including even optional all-wheel drive has gone a wall it sort of fills the slots that Toyota used to populate with both the larger Venza and the smaller Cyan XD, with a shout out to the Matrix. The letters stand for Coupe though it isn't one and high rider though it doesn't ride all that high. As such, it's a philosophical rejection of the boxy box Cyan XD aesthetic that once seemed destined to endure and now survive only in the KIA soul. The CHR is essentially Toyota's interpretation of the Nissan Juke with a hyphenated nudge to the Honda HRV. It's bigger than either of those the 103.9-inch wheelbase exceeds the Jukes by 4.3 inches, and its 171.2-inch overall length is 8.8 .8 inches longer. Like those competitors, it includes similar features such as height-mounted rear door handles and a foreshortened tail. And somewhat like the Juke, the CHR has the profile of a crouching chimpanzee. Under that crouching monkey exterior is a mechanical package of astonishing ordinariness. The CHR is structured around the same Toyota new global architecture TNGA that underpin current Prius models. It's likely that the next Corolla will share much of this CUV's basic engineering when it appears soon. It's a unified structure supported atop a struck front suspension and a multi-link setup in the rear. The ramp and pinion steering is electrically assisted. The anti-lock brake system utilizes ventilated discs in front and solid discs out back, and the engine is positioned transversely up front driving a continuously variable automatic transmission CVD. Consider every small car conventional wisdom box chip. Propulsion comes courtesy of a 2.0-liter member of Toyota's now decade-old ZR for cylinder engine family. It has dual overhead cams, 16 valves with variable timing, and a relatively long stroke. But it was rated at just 144 horsepower way up at a screaming 6100 RPM. The torque peak comes at a more reasonable 3900 RPM, but there's only a meter 139 pounds feet. This is an unpretentious and modest power plant. Modesty and unpretentiousness don't, however, work well with a CVD. Generally speaking, CVDs operate best when lashed to modern turbocharged engines with a thick low end and a torque curve that starts down low and stays flat good and long. For example, the 174 HP Turbo 1.5 liter inline 4 that Honda installed in the Civic as an upgrade to a 158 HP, 138 pounds or 2.0 liter 4 produces its 162 pounds feet of peak towards the only 1700 RPM and sustains it all the way to 5500 RPM. That car severely doesn't need to seek out higher engine speeds to find adequate grunt. In contrast, the relatively TT and not very generous toward curve of the C here is naturally aspirated in line for means that the CVD's drive belt desperately hunts for thrust, and that results in a thrusting drone that is most irritating at full throttle. The mere 144 horsepower will have a rough go at propelling 30 to 86 pounds, no matter what the transmission. Throw a brick at the accelerator pedal and the CHR dawdle to 60 miles per hour in 11 seconds flat and complete a quarter mile in 18.4 seconds at 79 miles per hour. That's using the M mode in the transmission, it's marginally quicker a relative term than in the fully automatic mode. But it's the lack of responsiveness in passing that adds some terror into the mix. It takes the CHR dilapidatical 7.5 seconds to groan from 50 to 70 miles per hour. That's at least a half second slower than any of the six work you C slash D compared in 2015. It's a massive 1.8 seconds behind the 146 HP Magna C X3 cheering that one that comes a row while also fighting the parasitic draft of an all-wheel drive system. Clearly, the CVD murders what little performance potential there was in the CHR. The CHR is a Toyota, and that means treated right, it might be reasonable to expect it will outlive you and several generations of your descendants. But this is a vehicle that deserves some mechanical engagement to go with its origami bumper covers and trendy countenance. 
If Coco the gorilla can learn sign language, this ape deserves some tricks of its own.